Alright guys, so today I wanted to make a video on the most common mistakes that you see people uh, make when they're swinging Indian clubs, whether they're just starting out with clubs or they're a little more experienced with them but they've just kind of never taken their technique into account. So how I'm going to, um, how, I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do it is I'll tell you guys the error in technique and then I'll show you the error. First, I'll show you what it looks like swinging the clubs, and then I'll show you the corrected version of it uh, for the technique. So the first one that I want to go over, and this is the one that kind of irks me the most, is you have people who are always swinging the clubs, and in the bottom position with the clubs kind of down in front of the waist, they're not switching the hand that goes in front of the other at the bottom position. So either they're always swinging the right hand in front of the left hand or they're always swinging the left hand in front of the right hand instead of switching the right over the left and the left over the right when they're down in the bottom position. So I'll show you guys what that looks like and then I'll uh, show you the corrected version of it. So, as you can see, I was switching my right hand over my left hand and my left hand over my right hand in the bottom position. Now, the next one that I'm going to go over is um, letting the chest, and same thing in that bottom position, letting the chest and shoulders round forward, kind of fall forward um, when they're swinging the clubs and when they reach that bottom position. Now, swinging clubs a lot is about it's, it's a lot about mobility and posture and corrective exercise as well as rhythm and coordination and, and a little bit of meditation in movement. But if you're not swinging them properly, it's not likely that you're going to get all the benefits from it. So when you swing clubs, you want to keep good posture, you want to um, you you know, keep the shoulders back, you want to keep the chest up, and you don't want to let everything kind of fall apart and break down really at any moment um, during your club swinging so I'll show you guys what that looks like first the chest falling the shoulders rounding and then I'll show you guys the corrected version Okay, so as you see on that first one, I was kind of letting the chest fall forward, and when I switched it up to do the, out, the outward uh, heart shaped pattern and the alternating outwards, I was uh, keeping my chest up, keeping good posture. So the next one that I want to go over, and this is a big one, more so has to deal with when you're doing the um, what's that? when you're doing the alternating arms. Um, for the outward and the inward swings but uh, it's not letting the elbow collapse to the bicep here 
and keeping it out like this. And now what happens when you don't relax the arm, when you're swinging, is that the uh, elbow tendons kind of take a little more stress than they need to and you might end up getting tendonitis or something like that with your swinging clubs. So when you're doing the alternating, when you're doing parallel swings, it's important to let that elbow kind of collapse onto the bicep and um, let it relax. So I'll show you guys the improper version, I'll show you guys the right version. Now keep in mind when you're swinging them both at the same time, it's very hard to let that happen here because the clubs are going to knock into each other. So yes, when you're doing at the same time, your arms are going to stay a little bit out here. Uh, but you, when you're doing opposite alternating swings, your hand, uh, you want it to be close to the shoulder and uh, elbow collapse. So I'll show you the wrong way and then I'll show you the right way. Alright, now um, the last two things, I'll just do it at the same time, um, just for, for time's sake. But uh, the first one being a premature bending of the elbow at the bottom position. Almost looks like you're kind of scooping up water. And then that's usually coupled with a swing that you're kind of swinging out horizontally. So instead of going up and out, you have a lot of people who get to this position here and just go out. And all that means is you're really just missing out on a lot of range of motion in the shoulder, strengthening of the shoulder at different angles. If I'm always swinging out like this, coming out inwards and outwards, you're missing out on all all of this range of motion, um, which is really the most important part of the range of motion in the shoulder. You don't meet a lot of people who have trouble going like this. You meet most people have trouble putting their hands up next to their ears like this, nice and straight. So um, I'll show you guys that premature elbow bend, and then I'll show you the, um, the, that horizontal swing. And then I'll show you again the corrected version of the swing.
Alright guys, well, there you have it. Just a couple tips on swinging Indian clubs and how to have the right technique when you do them and how to get the most out of your swinging. Uh, swinging clubs is very good for the shoulders, good for uh, coordination and rhythm, so long as you're doing it right, just like anything else. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.